A death sentence verdict handed down to Muslim Brotherhood's leader Mohammed Badi has triggered bomb attacks in several parts of Egypt. The attacks are quite different to what Egypt has been witnessing in the last two years, and security forces are intensifying their efforts as more attacks are expected next week. Now, CCTV's Adela Maruhi reports. Egypt was relatively free of bomb attacks for over five weeks. But after the Muslim Brotherhood's spiritual leader was sentenced to death on Saturday, at least a dozen attacks hit vital targets in the country. This time, however, security forces were not the main targets. One of the main electricity supply lines to the Egyptian media city was targeted with at least 10 bombs on Tuesday and again on Wednesday. It interrupted broadcast of many television channels. The terrorists have released a statement that they targeted the media city because it defends the government and speaks with its thoughts. In general, they believe that the media was one of the main reasons for ousting Morsi because they used to severely criticize him. I expect that they would take that further by attempting to attack particular show hosts in the future. The significance of the attacks was even noticed in the turbulent North Sinai. Sixteen were killed and over 50 injured in three different attacks on security facilities there. And for the first time, students from the military academy became targets in a tragic attack in Kafr Sheikh, North Cairo. It takes time to arrange these bombs and get the material required and assemble them. So I believe that the verdict was not the main trigger for this week's escalation, but it was an opportunity for them to use the events to create more panic. Since the armed forces ousted Islamist President Mohamed Morsi in 2013, militant groups have been targeting security forces with bomb attacks. Despite all the government's effort to put an end to such attacks, this week's bombs are not expected to be the last. Former President Mohamed Morsi's first verdict will be on Tuesday, and another one on May 16. All these verdicts are appealable, yet violent reactions are still expected. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.